So today is Wednesday. I didn't record nothing on Monday because I actually had a little hiccup, and I'll explain that in a second. And you'll know Steve wasn't here on Friday. Uh, he had a heat rash. Well, he had a heat rash, and you weren't just feeling well. You had uh, heat exhaustion. You're nauseous and everything else. So you just took the day off and got back to it. But you stuck to your diet. What's your body weight? 350. 350. So you are down 42 pounds. 42 pounds. So eight pounds away from 50. My man. Yeah. My man. I'm getting ready for it. Okay. So. For me, what happened was, I don't know what I did Sunday, but there was no initial pain or issue. But I went to bed, woke up Monday morning, and I couldn't move my arm. And, um, I felt it in my incision where my surgery was. I felt it in my front delt, and I felt it in the incision where my bicep ties into my shoulder. And I also felt it in the rear. So I know I did where the pain was coming from, but Monday was brutal for me because I could barely move my arm. So I got in here Monday and I did what I could do in a plane of motion that was pain free. And I just kind of try to take it through a motion of lightweight range of motion with actually very little weight, just trying to get blood in there. Um, Tuesday was better, but it wasn't much better. But I found the issue, my issue was actually, let's use Steve as an example, we'll turn around Steve. So my issue was right at the bottom of my shoulder blade where it ties in where all the connective tissue is. I had an impingement in here that once I worked that out with my massage gun and I got that broken loose, I got my range of motion back today. And I did that last night, but the pain wasn't here, but I felt it through here, I felt it through here, I felt it in here, and I felt it through here. But the source of the issue was here. So a lot of people don't realize that whenever you have pain, where you're feeling it, generally isn't where it's generated from. It's not where the pain's actually, the source of it is. You have to trace your nerves back to find out where the actual pain, unless you feel a direct pop in your elbow, a lot of times your elbows will hurt because something in your back is messed up and that's where your issue's coming from. Uh, the, the body is a very incredible thing, but it also is very misleading because nerves are like pathways. Like It's like, for instance, if, if you have a freeway that's having construction and you have to detour that freeway, that construction, nerves do the same thing. So the blockage is here on the freeway, so you bypass it, but you're feeling it, the effects down here. You're not feeling them where they actually are. So it's very misleading as far as it goes where the pain is coming from. So I got that figured out. My shoulder is about 90%. I got my full range of motion back, but I can still feel parts where it's a little stiff and tight from the impingement. So I want to take it easy tonight and go from there. Um, now, another thing I'm, I'm going to do, because this was an eye-opener for me about feeling your body and listening to it. So I got a powerlifting mindset. I got the mentality of powerlifting. So I want to lift heavy and I want to lift explosive, but I'm bodybuilding now to stay healthy and to be in shape and look good, right? I don't want to be fat and gross anymore. I want to look good, right? You know, I want to turn my wife on whenever I take my shirt off. I want her to look at me, and not that she's not, but I want her to look at me and be like, hmm. Right, that, that, that's the goal. I, I want my spouse to be proud of me and attracted to me. Um, so I have to transition my, my way of thinking. So whenever I use the power lift, right, it's about the movement, it's not about the feel. It's about the way the movement feels. It's about how, how effective and smooth you are at that movement. Uh, with bodybuilding, it's about contracting and feeling a peak contraction in the muscle and having that hard contraction. So whenever I had my surgery, I had a huge fear of tearing my shoulder again on my pec. Uh, and then, you know, the thing is you can't be brave if you don't have fear and you can't be courageous if you don't experience some kind of fear. So to be afraid to go back to bench pressing, right, that's a huge fear to overcome because of the tear. It took me about a year and a half to be able to start actually bench pressing again. It's been a little over two years now. Boy, the physical stuff. So it took me about a year and a half, a little under two years to be able to get comfortable to where I could bench press again. And I thought to myself, like, I'm going to start off real light, and I did, and I built my chest back up to a 135 pound bench press, what I can do right now with a wide grip or a close grip. But the problem is when I'm benching, all my mind is on my pec, it's on my tendon. It's the only thing I can think about, and it's the only thing that my mind is focused on. And it freaks me out, right? Because I don't care about the pump. I don't care about the lift. I, don't, I just care about my tendon not tearing. And I can't work out like that with the right state of mind. And I, it, it scares me. And it's not the pain that makes me afraid. It's it ripping again, having to have surgery again, and then being down for months and not be able to do nothing again. 
That's what bothers me. So it's just like, is this point in time in my life worth risking tearing it again for a lift that I'm never going to be good at again? No, it's not. It's just not worth it. I'm never going to be good at the bench press again because of this is going to hold me back mentally and physically because the way that my tore the tendon separated from the muscle. So they took that stringy paintbrush like muscle. It's like, it's like taking a paintbrush and trying to sew it to another paintbrush. It's very hard to get those fibers to sew back together. So it's just held together by scar tissue. It didn't tear off the bone, it tore off the, the tendon. So it's a high risk injury for, for recovery. So now what I'm doing at this point in time in my training is I'm focusing on movements that I feel a peak contraction, just like my biceps. Straight bar curls, I feel that in my forearms. I've never felt it in my biceps. I've never once felt it in my biceps. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna look for the movements that I feel it 100% in that muscle where I have a peak contraction in that muscle where that's all I feel it in. I don't feel it anywhere else. I don't care if it's two pounds or 200 pounds. If I feel it there 100%, that's the exercise. That's the lift I'm doing because I, if I can't feel it in that muscle, what am I training? Now, I know the motion I'm, I'm training it, but am I really, is, am I pulling with the forearm more? Am I pulling with the shoulder more? Like, like where is the actual contract? And I've done all kinds of different straight bar curls from strict to lean forward to tilt the back, all kinds of stuff. Even preacher curl straight bar. I've never felt it in my biceps. So that's where my mindset's going to be for my training and stuff like that. More for the peak contraction and making the muscle sore and, and, and honing all that tension on the muscle. So that's that's where my mindset, I'm shifting over from powerlifting mindset and I still have those tendencies to where I want to lift like a powerlifter and I got to break those habits and I'm going to. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I'm going to break it just like you're breaking your bad habits with dieting and stuff like that. Um, how was your weekend? Did you have any bad moments? No, this, this weekend was, was good. Um, last weekend I had some hiccups but getting over it, like, that's just not worth it. Just get it out your head. So this weekend was a lot more smooth. Um, I got the grill, so I'm excited about that. You know, I've been cooking on the propane grill now, at least the steaks, so they're really fresh, juicy. I'm still learning on cook temperatures and times, because sometimes a little more raw, sometimes a little overcooked. So it's it's like a little more excitement to the cooking stage, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, no, man, stay pretty uh, pretty diligent, just keeping on it, eating correct, um, keeping up on my times, uh, and just, Going through the motions, you know, one day at a time. Yep. One day at a time. And it's funny too because like when my shoulder was hurting me on Tuesday, I was telling Steve that like I had a really hard time with everything Tuesday because I was in pain, I was hurting, I was tired from Monday's workout, I was tired from work, my shoulder was bothering me, and all the stuff I had to do in the evening when I got home, I didn't stop till almost nine o'clock at night. By the time nine o'clock rolled around, it's time for me to eat. I didn't want to eat my dinner, I didn't want to diet. I was tired, I was hungry, I, I just, I was mentally checked out, but I did it. I cooked my food, I ate my diet, I stuck to it. I'm glad I did it. And I thought to myself, I'm tired, I'm worn out, I'm exhausted, I'm hurting, I'm in pain, I'm discouraged, and I'm, I'm mentally broken right now. So if I seek food for comfort to make me feel better right now, how am I going to feel after I eat that food and how am I going to feel tomorrow about myself if I do that? I'm going to feel worse than I feel right now being mentally worn out and tired so the best thing to do is just to eat my food shut my brain off and go to bed and that's what i did i was so happy that's what I, the choice that i made because i felt better about myself when i woke up in the morning all right it made me want to take two steps forward and i'm glad i didn't take two steps backwards so when you have those mental blocks and those those roadblocks man it's easy to want to turn back man i, I it gets me it gets the best of me sometimes but it's just knowing that you know it's just food it's not going to make you feel better. It's not going to fix your shoulder. It's not going to fix your car. It's not going to make your electricity bill cheaper. It's not going to do anything for you at all. It's going to make you temporarily feel better right then and there. And then you're going to go right back to having the same problems you had before you ate that. Now you're going to look a little bit worse and you're going to feel a little worse. And you're going to go back to staying fat and gross, right? And we don't want to be fat and gross anymore. So. But all right, well, that's it for my rant, my pre-workout rant. We're going to get into this. And like I said, no more bench pressing for me. Uh, tonight is chest, back, shoulders, and traps. So let's get into this.